Hey guys, my name is Ronaldo Maya, and today we're gonna go into the behind and scenes of my road Rio 2018. Uh, we're just gonna show the process that I had to undertake, you know, for me to get my blog video done. Okay, this is the pre-production stage. This is where I, I had to think about an idea I wanted to do with my blog. I didn't want to do a daily routine. I want to do an event within my life. So I thought about going to a soccer game. I got tickets. Then I asked for permission to film in that event. Then I made a list of all the shots that I wanted to take. And once I had figured out what kind of shots that I wanted, then I got started thinking about equipment. For example, my Canon 80D, my Rode mic, and my DJI drone. Obviously for all this equipment, I needed batteries for both my camera and my video drone. So I always charge them. And don't forget about the steady tripod for time lapses if you want to. Now we're gonna jump from pre-production to production. This is where you gotta be ready. You gotta be on time. So I had to be there three to uh, two hours prior to the event to capture all my time lapses and all my aerial footage. The second thing that I frequent is that I need always to be recording. I always put in the camera things that I do and I always be innovative. I always be uh, creative, pushing the boundaries when I'm doing my blog. So that's one thing that I get, had to keep in mind while I was on production. So now, last week, we're gonna join to the post-production scene. Uh, this is where you gotta organize all your footage, and that's what I did. I organized it, and I saw all the videos that I had recorded. Once I seen all the videos, I could kind of get an idea I wanna, I, what kind of story that I wanted to tell. Then, I recorded some voiceover, so I could fulfill the rest of the video footage. That way, I could jump into the editing stage. Once I got to the editing stage, this is where uh, it was a little bit frustrating for me because it took a long time due to uh, things of my computer not working well and other things about uh, getting stuck within the timeline of my creation. So I had to take a little bit of breaks and then come out with the new ideas. And that helped me out a lot to come out with the outcome that I have now in my project. Yeah. The experience is amazing. It's worth ten dollars. Thank you, David Dubrick, for the discount. Well, that's it, guys. That was the behind the scenes from my Rode Real 2018. I want to give you a huge shout out to Rode for giving us the opportunity to showcase our creations for everyone to see out there. And I also want to thank the LAFC community and the LAFC team for giving us the opportunity for my brother and I to attend the game. That was a huge and amazing experience for us.